beauties, it's Jean Persani with Beauty and the Stamper. Today I'm going to show you a quick and easy pedestal to put like little snacks and stuff or um, actually anything you want on there, but it's gonna be so pretty. So I saw um, the Pixie Housewife had done something really cute like that, Pixie Dust Housewife, and she just gave me an idea. I had all the stuff, so I'm like, I'm gonna give this a shot. So it was a mirror from the Dollar Tree, and I didn't have that, I lied. I had to buy that. And then um, some diamond wrap, which I always have this on hand, and I always buy this every time I go, because I use it for everything, it's just so pretty. And then, if you remember this, I had a bunch of these. Um, I used them for my Halloween goblets, and I used them for a lamppost. And these are just a dollar at the Dollar Tree as well. So I've got this, it's really pretty, and it's gonna look like a, kind of like a chandelier. So all I've done is I've undone the back here. So let me show you how it comes. It just comes like this and you lift all of these tabs, and you're gonna take out the back, you're gonna take out the glass, and then you're going to take this out as well. You're not gonna use that at all. So I'm setting this on here because what we're gonna do, it, let's do it so you don't really see that clock there. Well, sorry. What you're gonna do is you're gonna just measure this out. So go like this, and exactly where it is, you're gonna cut along there. And then you'll come up with um, four sides. So I've got them all cut already. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that diamond wrap, same thing, and you're going to take a piece and do it right around the top measure and cut there as well. So I've gone ahead and done that. We're gonna move this out of the way. We've got our hot glue gun ready. And I'm just going to put a little bit here. And, yeah, you can see. And right along the top. And I want that to go, I don't want it to go over the top, I want it to line up really nicely. You guys, seriously, you know what I just did? I put the wrong side, I put the wrong side on. See, <laughs> I'm telling you, I am telling you, I, I mess up every time. And you guys know I leave it in there. So I'm just gonna cut another length, just because I want that, see what happened. I put it on the wrong side and it took a little piece off so there's a little bit of black and I don't want that black. So I'm gonna cut a brand new piece. And there's plenty, there's six foot here. So you can do as many as you'd like. So I see where I'm gonna cut and I just cut it really easy. Now, at least I only mess up on little things. It's not like I broke the entire, um, you know, goblet or mirror. And I hope I'm not talking too soon in saying that. So let's try this again. And I'm gonna put this right over where I had it last time. And that glue will melt the other glue that's on there. So I'm okay with it. Don't. Burn your fingers. Now I'm just going to wrap this glue around here and a little bit more down here. We don't want it to, to um, leak. And then we're just gonna wrap that around and it'll go, ooh, I, where'd that come from? This isn't gonna be a blooper reel all in itself. <laughs> Somebody asked me um, why I don't do blooper reels and it's because I leave everything in there anyways. You guys see everything. So there's no bloopers to see 
because it's, I mean, my life is just a big blooper anyways. <laughs> it's just one big blooper reel. Is this going to fit all the way around? Yes, it will. Oh my gosh. You guys, give me a thumbs up, please. Oh, just for fun, at least. Just because I'm comedy, I guess. Again, we don't want it to. And then, look, blooper reel. Let's just make this. This is. I should just name this blooper reel. Seriously, I'm just gonna cut off one little thing here and stick it in there. What a goofball! So that's the, that's the great thing about crafts. We can always fix it. There you go. You can't even tell where it went. Okay. Whew, we got past, we got through that part. I didn't burn myself. I thought maybe I did. Look how cute that is. You can use that just as is. It'd be a little bit harder to drink. Maybe put it down a little bit lower. Give yourself a customized goblet. All right. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take these guys. We're going to take the longer pieces. We're going to make sure we've got the right um, part out there. We just want to put one little dab here. And we're going to just do right along the edge. And we'll stick this guy down there. And what we're going to do is we're just going to put the one. So see how this has multiple rows? We're just going to glue the top row. Just this top row is going to get glued onto that section there, onto the actual mirror. So it's just a thin bead because it's only one line. And again, it's just one, one row that's going. Now it is glass, so it could come off if you don't do it rather quickly. And then see how it hangs like this? So pretty. And then we're just gonna do that to all four sides. So I'm gonna pause so you don't have to watch me do this, um, but all four sides. All right, so I've glued them all. You can see all the way around one bead and you can see here that it's laying down, but you could see here that it is not. And I'm gonna show you what I did to make it lay down. So just using this, be careful. I um, it, I let it cool down just a little bit, but right at the last two here, I'm just gonna put a little bit of hot glue, and then I'm gonna take this edge and this edge and kind of push them together. Now make sure you don't burn yourself. You can blow on it a little so that it cools down quicker and then I just, after it's cool, after the glue's cool, I kind of just pinch it together a little bit and pull out any extra glue. And then when I, when it's all glued and the glue's all dry, you can see that it makes it kind of all one. So it goes all the way around. Then, last thing we're gonna do so we're gonna take the goblet, and you know me, I'm famous for undoing the goblet. <laughs> and what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it upside down like this, because I want it to go right into the center. And I want it to stick, so I'm gonna use some E6000. I want it to stick really well. 
So I'm going to put it around here. Ugh. This stuff does not smell very good. I'm just going to put a lump right in the middle. And then, so that it sticks really well, I'm also going to put some hot glue enough around the edge there. I'm going to flip that over and stick it right in the center. Push that guy down. go. Isn't that pretty? And then you can put your little treats on there. You could put it on a doily if you want, however you'd like. But that is just a cute little pedestal, kind of like a chandelier. I just think it's really pretty. So I will um, show you some pictures in just a bit. All right, beauties, have a wonderful day. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you give me some thumbs ups. I hope you liked this semi-blooper reel that it turned out to be. So have a great day. Bye.